Sweet Kitten Internet, I have some apples, some cheese, and I am ready to go for the Warwing Verukius. So, we're going to be running away from every random combat. So as a reminder, Ashley is in the party, not forgetful, and we have no way of making him forgetful. So we're going to I really don't remember this dungeon. Um, we're going to any battle that we actually fight, Ashley is going to have to die. And that's going to get obnoxious fast. Is this where we came in at? No, okay. Oh, Puka can't get through there either. Hmm. Well, can't go there yet, apparently. Odessa mans. These boots are made for kicking. There's no power. Power is necessary to operate it. Again, I really don't remember this dungeon, so. That's where we came in at. Maybe this has to be done in a very specific order. Barrier, off. Terminal switch, off. Okay. Lift switch on, does that. Okay. Doesn't look like it's gonna harm anything. Sliding block puzzle. Mm, damn it. <laughs> Sliding block puzzles? Who would have thought? In an RPG? Never. Hmm. Actually, that doesn't work, does it? I have no way of pushing.
<coughs> but there's something on the other side. Like a random encounter. Ah, it's two Odessa men. Better run away. TA-2360. Okay. I think this is going to be the best that I can do. Okay, walk diagonally, both ways. There we go. No power necessary, power is necessary to operate it. These enemies are really easy to run away from. Also, I'm being quiet because my voice hurts. Okay. So that was a lot of talking in that last video. Okay, there's nothing more I can do here. Oh, now they're all online. Switch is still on, but maybe they have power here now. I was surprised. Are you gonna kill Ashley? Ha! Ah, dance! Dance! Nope. Herc dead. Okay. Well, that makes things easier. I guess I can actually fight then. Ooh, only two more levels and Tim can cast first aid. On round one, that is. I mean, I might as well fight since they've done me the favor of killing Ashley. I should be hitting the same person, if possible. Also, I'm out of ammo. I'm probably going to need to use a blue clip. Rock doll. Donk, 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 donk. See how much more damage Tim does compared to Lilka right now? Entirely due to stats. There's, his spells are worse than Lilka's, if I remember right. And I have a strong memory of that. I don't understand what I messed up. Seriously, random encounter rate. What the hell? So I can move those blocks around. I don't know if that's going to help, but it's worth a shot. I can also kick them, which I may end up doing. Uh, 
actually come to think of it, I bet what it is is that I need to lower them and then move, use the blocks to move them away, to make a little bridge to go across. I bet that's what it is. Oh. Are you off yet? No. Hmm. I don't suppose it's as easy as that? No. And at least ninth through there. Apparently not at a diagonal. Or at a diagonal, but not at a... Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> what was it? I'm being dumb. I am, I am aware. Maybe I need to turn these on rather than off. And I don't mean the barrier. I know the barriers need to come down. Terminal switch on. So that's that barrier. Then this one. There's no power. Crane, yes, okay. That worked. Why did that not happen? That must have been the terminal switch before. Anyway. Ashley must fight alone. Oh, crap. Please run away. And that's a game over. Just reloading. It's fine, I haven't done anything. Now I can't walk across there? Weird glitch, but okay. Seriously, Ashley must fight alone is the worst possible thing that happens. Okay, so is this still off? There's no power. Why is there no power? There's still no power here. There's no power. Hopefully I haven't had too much of an echo this entire time because I just noticed there was a slight echo. Terminal switch on. Apparently, that's what I messed up. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm betting that I don't remember the password anymore. Power code for Power Plant A. It's been too long, so I don't remember it. One moment, please. I just looked it up because I really don't feel like trying to remember it. 
T. A. Two three six zero. Power plant has been verified. Power plant A will be turned off. One power plant is off, two more to go, I believe. There is no power. Okay. Got one at least. Is your barrier still up? It is. There's got to be something in here, but what? There's no power. Why is there no power? I'm just going to destroy everything because I feel like it. I can't move these. Yeah, no, I can't move them. Yeah, told you. There's not anything on the walls that I didn't see. Nope. Okay, so I can't do this area yet. There's nothing special by the barrier. Nope. Alright, going a different way. Maybe because the power plant A got turned off, I can actually do this area now. Can't do jack squat there. Maybe I just need to weigh this down. Using RPG logic here, it's very spurious. So for reference, this game's actually on a grid tile system, so I can't misalign things. Which is both good news and bad news. Good news in that I can't misalign things. Bad news is that it's clunky. You can actually hear the repetition in the noise. Aha! Success! That was what I needed to do. Sweet. Would have been nice if they had given any hint whatsoever these tiles look like they're going to break. Like this tile here? Yep. There's nothing over there anyway. Alright. I can sort of see which ones are going to break because they're slightly elevated. That one was not. Or it probably was and I probably just didn't see it. Okay. 
Okay. No. Turn. Oh, barrier switch. Barrier needs to go off. Okay. I don't have that code yet. I'm gonna do this the right way. But now that the barrier is gone, I should be able to actually go through here. TB8180. 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 Alright, second power plant has been turned off. Maybe that'll actually let me get through the third one. one yes okay there's got to be something in here um... there's no power why is there no power I don't understand I have a power switch down here. Maybe I'll try that. How it goes? Hmm. Question for you, Internet. What is your snack that you just kind of grab that's not horrible for you? I'm always looking for new ones. Like, for instance, I'm eating some apples. Um, Honeycrisp apples, specifically. They're smaller ones. So I'm not going to be too particularly gluttonous. But at the same time, it's eh. I also have some um, extra sharp cheddar cheese sticks that I eat that I quite like. But I'm trying to find things that are not horrible for me to snack on because I've found that I definitely want snacks and without snacks, I start having worse time. Terminal on. Um, my theory is that that's actually getting turned off every time I activate something. Anyway, um, yeah, I can use a recommendation for snacks. What the heck? This does not make any sense. I should have power. <clears throat> One moment, I'm gonna look things up. 
and back. Turns out you have to operate this terminal switch and make sure it's on, even though I thought I already did that, apparently not. So now I should be able to run back and do this. Uh, the only thing that you've missed is that I have succeeded at fighting one random battle. And yeah, there's two switches over on the left, not just one. And that's why this didn't have power. Assuming that I read that right, otherwise I'm going to get a lot more frustrated. There we go. Turn barrier off and verify power code. TC6503. Kick. 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 This looks like a puka thing. So I bet it's going to start opening up again really fast. Or not. This is the puka thing. <sighs> Sliding block puzzles and similar things. Oi. That was TC6503, right? Alright, without powers come greater responsibility. Really? Alright, now that we're done with that, let's go back to where we were. That was our objective. We've satisfied our objective, let's just go home. Hmm, hang on there. Just can't let you go on home. Oh no, sorry, that was Ptolemya, not Judica. My mistake. Hmm. Ptolemya, oh sorry, Ptolemya! Uh, looks like you guys might actually be a worthy opponent for a change. They say you beat Judica. Is this guy the real thing? Our justice will never submit to Odessa. Uh, justice. I don't know who came up with that. Justice can be found on any corner. Got a little in my heart. You said my justice and your justice. You guys did as you pleased to my favorite Verukius. We have far too many reasons why our sword should cross, right? Here I go, you arm kids. Show me what your justice can do. Really don't understand what he's saying about that, but whatever. But remember, he was the one who was like, you're lucky you're fighting me instead of Judica. There's a reason. All right, first off, Ashley, you're useless. Just attack. Ilka, um, not even injured. Spark, I guess? And Brad punch in the face. We need Ashley dead, so I'm just going to have Ashley attack until he's, you know, dead. He'll probably die before he gets to go. No. Nope. Attack Loka, how dare you. Quick, Ashley, deal 39 damage, woo! Zap. Ptolemya Dynamite! Oh no, he's going to hit all of us and kill Ashley! Whatever shall we do? That did next to nothing in damage. Cool. Alright, move the unconscious body out to bring in Tim. That's oh, right. Um, I wanted to double check. Yep, that should work. 
Actually, you really don't need a Moonstone at this point. I'm going to have you with Mittens. Because your defense is garbage, right? Yeah, Mittens is the only reason why Tim has more defense than Lilka. It looks like the two of them have the same defense. But look at the sorcery difference. And keep in mind, Lilka has a Mystic Word equipped. Tim does not. So, as a comparison, Lilka should have 135 sorcery. Tim has 220. Tim also has more strength. One lower vitality. Significantly slower, though. Significantly higher magic resistance, but that's because it's been done. Sorcery. So, yeah. Tim is basically a slower but better version of Lilka in pretty much every way. But Lilka has some spells that Tim does not ever get to get. Anyway, Rock Dolt. Spark. Why not? Huh, actually, let's AM Cluster instead. Rocked old. Bonk, 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 bonk. Iron Saber! Eh, that almost did damage. Really should move Sonic Claw to the front, because Sonic Claw is the fastest attack. So, 419 versus 414. See what I mean by Luka's spells are actually slightly better, even though Tim has much higher sorcery? Launch. Counterattack. Calling me a dynamite! Napoleon Dynamite? Who would have thought? Yeah, that's definitely a magic attack if Tim took so little damage. I don't even think I need to heal, to be honest. Let's see, does Pineapple even do enough damage to justify this? Yeah, it does. Well, got 3,000 XP. Luka leveled up. Tell me a battle to complete. Hmm, <laughs> there. I guess this is enough. What's going on? The evacuation of Varukia's passengers is almost finished. You're not... You... You were buying time until all the passengers were off, weren't you? Pretty tough having to handle soldiers. I was fond of the Rukius, but it's perfect to bury you all in. Peace! Stop! Ptolemya! We need to gather our escape... Right, we need to plan our escape rather than chase him. The Rukius looks like it's not going to last much longer. And we finally had them silenced. One danger passes, only for another danger to surface! Uh -huh. Did we silence him? The plane crashes. The Valerie Chateau connected by the anchor will fall too. Oh, right, right. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Uh, I've got an idea. You've got to trust me with your lives, though. Uh, yeah, I guess. You're on level three, but whatever. What are we going to do? First, we have to contact Irving at the Chateau. Well, luckily, we have a cell phone. It's me, Ashley! You did well. I see black smoke rising from the Verrucius. Yeah, but there's a slime problem. We're still inside of it. Release the anchor now. If you don't release it, the chateau will crash too. Hmm. I don't know where the Verrucius will crash. The ship could cause a major disaster if it crashes here. We must do something. Oh, what are you going to do? Can you abandon ship? 
I'll head for the cockpit. Luckily, we're over sea. Maybe I could belly land the Verukius on the water. Are you sure you could do that? I'm giving my best shot. It's our only chance. You can do it. Land that baby and get your butt back here. All right. Looks a lot like the Chateau, does it not? We'll be okay, right? We'll be able to do something, right? Mm, this is where my real work starts. You know how to fly? The Goldwing class flying machine, Verukius, isn't a bad machine. Plane isn't a plane for terrorists. This plane is... Hang on, we're landing in water. Remember way back when it was mentioned that not only is Brad a member of the Slayham Liberation Army, but so is the head of Odessa? Hey, hey, over here, over here. I wonder if I just sit here for a while, if it will just immediately just go through the screen or something. Just curious. Because it is getting bigger and bigger as it approaches. Just want to see if that's what happens. I've never sat here for a while. And thus ends the tale of Protowing, because I'm pretty sure that's the same craft. Okay, it does stop. Hey, wave your hand too, Tim. Go for it, boy! Really saved me. Fair energy. Yeah, that may be it. We're over here! Hi. Hi. <laughs> Did you see how flustered that old Koger, Koger from Guild God was? <laughs> I'm sure he appreciates the threat posed by Odessa now. He's learned his lesson. Isn't it strange that they knew that he was aboard? At the time? Don't you think? Ah, yes, indeed. The attack by Odessa was frightening, but in the end, it may have been for the better. May I ask what that means? All present saw firsthand just how formidable the enemy is. After all, it takes a direct threat for people to get off their fat butts to eat. Irving's a dick. We have not had good relations with Guild Galad. I'm worried they would be the biggest stumbling block at the summit. But the attack lit a fire under their butts. We made more progress than I had expected. They're still unwilling to cooperate completely. But they did provide us with their hovercraft. Even if the summit gained only that, we should be satisfied. You are too hasty, and haste not only makes wasted, it can also take years off your life. Uh, yes, sire. Very well. Now, how will arms act next? Verukius was destroyed, but Odessa is not defeated yet. Let's track them down. With the hovercraft, we can search the entire inland sea area. Ah, so we shall put the hovercraft to immediate use. We'll look at for the data tablets from the Verukius. A gullwing clash like that should have three data tablets on board. Once recovered, the tablets will provide us with vital information about Odessa. Uh-oh, well, the hovercraft is docked on the west coast. I'm counting on you, arms. So, yep, we have gone from flying machine to boat. Or hovercraft, I should say. But we have things that we need to do. Like, desperately, very desperately. Oh, actually, I should probably talk to people. I'm not going to repeat what they're saying this time. My throat's hurting too much. Strange how similar this area is to Silverland Castle.
it's a shame that that's really the only glimpse that you see at the Queen of Maria Bull is just her portrait. It's a very nice looking portrait. Bay. Do you even have a name? Yeah, it's Verukius. So it says the same thing to the two mages. And trying to take credit with the knife. Nice. We need a flying machine too. I said I wasn't going to be sending anything. Oy. Anyway, let's go ahead and first off, personal skill shop. Holy crap, do we need more? because he has 13 personal skills waiting. Um, I think I am going to throw things on physical defend. Although maybe I should actually do up M attack for him. And let's get some defense first. There we go. Loka, you can get your last defense. Brad, you get your last up parameter. Ashley, you're still level three. That has not in fact changed. You didn't get new equipment or anything, right? No, okay. Alright, got that. Next off, we have crests. Let's go memorize some stoof. First off, rise and shine on that makes perfect sense to me. Uh, three of them. Air screen, dispel, mage weapon, rise and shine, revive, reflect. Let's get mage weapon, rise and shine, and revive. Let's also reorder magic while we're at it. First off, Tim, you're going to have first aid, and then you're going to have sonic claw. Turn undead is actually going to be down toward the bottom. Like that. Lilka. Heal. Then we're going to go with your attack spells. Oops. Then buffs. Revive at the bottom. Okay, that's pretty good. Reload all of our arms. Next up, Silver Land. Mm, Ashley needs to forget his life again. Let's get him drunk. See, we can teleport directly to the hovercraft. That is nice. Um, but Silver Land. Go like that. Really, game? No random encounters? Thank you. 
centimeters. Thank you. Um, Tim, what do you have equipped right now? Still dark? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I will heal Ashley so he can take a hit potentially. And defense around Ashley. Take you out because you're just going to be annoying. Amnesia on Lilka, miss. Amnesia on Ashley. Yay! Hooray! We did it! Oops, I didn't actually mean to run away. Oh well, we ran away. <laughs> it's fine. They give next to nothing in XP anyway. Alright, formation. Ashley, go away. Alright, we've got that. We've got that. <coughs> Teleport to the hovercraft that is obviously full of eels. Kill Galad has helped link the map scope to the hovercraft's onboard terminal. High altitude satellite images will now be displayed on the map scope. You can see all of Philgaia on the monitor instead of just the surrounding area. To move the hovercraft forward, press the up directional button or the X button. Rotate. Left one or right one. Ashley's party can board and disembark only at the shore. Disembark. Hit circle. To board, hit X. Yeah. See, we finally have a world map. All right, so we want to go toward the west. Western part. Till we find a beach. Dang, those things look creepy. I don't have the correct attack spell because I don't have a um, spark-like spell yet. I also need to reorder order the party based off of speed again. Okay, they're not actually that hard. Like that. Wait, is Brad still actually slower than Tim? Let's see. Res 110, 105. Yeah. That's sad. Here? Maybe this isn't the one. This looks like this one might be for later. I'm not seeing much of anything here. I kind of don't like how, yes, you're searching out for new areas and so on, but if the plot doesn't let you, you can't find certain things? I don't like that. I don't like being plot-gated when there's no real reason for it. Let me go. There we go. There's something. This is, in fact, what I'm looking for. Thunder Lion Cage. It's raining. It's actually one of my favorite dungeon things. Album coupon acquired. That is a key item, if I remember right. Coupon for the Monster Album. Uh, 
We have a lot of options. Nice healing. Oh wait, I'm actually injured. Maybe I should pick those up. Bigger crystals are even more healing. We can't do anything else in here right now. Let's go toward the right. Hmm, this might actually be somewhat difficult fighting. That thing's big. Thunder Drake! Thunder Drake! Thunder Drake! Thunder Drake! Ho! Uh, that be water? Water shorts out lightning, right? Um, if not, I will also try a Sonic Claw. Okay, it was water. That was actually really easy, never mind. Okay, that's risen. Cool. Can you get me the treasure chest, please? It's a crest, sweet. All right, let's go on the other side. By the way, does my... I know that I'm probably slightly desynced from audio because of the way I'm recording it, but... Does that actually bother anybody? Okay. So this time, I'm going to try to pickpocket it. And then kill it. I may take a hit as a result, but that's fine. Oh, didn't pickpocket. I didn't even take a hit, did I? Nope. I just wanted to see what it had. Right. Prize it all the way. And then... Being held closed by magic? That means it's duplicator tea time. Tea? Yes, duplicator tea. Knife. The door just disappeared. And we're here. Noah Shox. I am Noah Shox, the guardian of lightning. To make someone so frail work, the demands are cruel. I don't understand that phrasing. At all. Oh well, I'll ignore my pains for this beautiful golden mane. Watch until your heart's content. That seems like a mistranslation, like a really bad one. Anyway. It is the better version of Fenlegon. Unfortunately, Fenlegon's how you steal, and it's the only way to steal in the game. On the plus side, you don't need to steal all that much, so I'm not as concerned. Still sucks. Pat? Did I? Oh, that's right. I didn't come through here before. Derp. So I had fallen down. I remember now. Sorry, I was just like, wait, did the rooms just change? Nope. That's it. That's all we wanted to do here. Biggins. Actually, let's go ahead and re-equip. Then we're on here. Oh, right, we need to learn spells on Tim. Right, I remember now. So, Tim, you're actually going to get Noah Shox. Or Noah Shox. Oh, wait, does that actually make your res higher than... See, res is 126. 
Res is 110. Dang it. Oh well. We need to have Tim learn. Oh, I actually don't do enough damage. If I would have known, I could have tried stealing. Zap. I need to kill five things, so I'm down to four, I believe. Because. Tim. Yep, lightning. Oh no, this is actually a higher level one. And plasma tap. I like plasma tap. There we go. Just sorting. So yeah, Tim's magic comes from finding guardians and killing things while Tim has them equipped. That's it. There's nothing else to it. All right, now we need to go find those tablets. They're somewhere in the Inland Sea. And after we find them, that's where we'll save an exit for the day. I'm not actually sure where they are. I know that they probably told me and I just ignored it. I have a tendency to do that. Oh, this water did not age well, did it? That's a cuttlefish. I'm not sure why I'm killing everything so easily here. Because I'm not over or under leveled. I'm roughly at the correct level, if not maybe slightly under leveled. I don't know. I think it's actually over in the other half of the inland sea. That's why I'm heading back over to there. Hmm, that looks interesting. Wonder what's here. Let's find out. I know I'm at an hour, but whatever. A little further away than I was expecting to have work, but okay. There's one. Guessing there's just nothing here yet. Yeah. Just in case if, you know, I found a tablet from Scanning the outside again, like I did. I know that passage. That is for the end of the game. There are really nasty enemies there, too. That's where you get the Necronomicon at.
Doink. Hillberry. Yeah. Bzzu. Bzzu. I should look up to see if there's any skips like what I kind of uncovered with um this is where we came out at. Uh like what I kind of kind of uncovered with uh Wild Arms 1 and skipping an entire section of the game. And just never did it. This might have actually been where I came out at. Should have been scanning while I was doing this. That would have made more... Or, like, when I went out to the other area. That would have made more sense. At least this is peaceful music. Okay, so this is where I found one of them at. There is multiple, right? It's not just that I have one, three tablets. Yeah, tablet one. Oh no, you attacked him for zero. I don't even need to defend. That's how bad they are. Okay. Maybe I should be using dig. That might make sense. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go further. Betting there's going to be one by this beach and one by the beach that I actually found. Yep. That's the way they're doing it, so. Tablet 2. And I bet the third one's going to be by the beach with the, um, uh, Thunderlion Cage. Let's see if my theory's right. Tablet 3 acquired. All of them are now recovered. Contacting Irving for our next instructions. Oh, sorry. Contact Irving for our next instructions. Well, phone call. This is Ashley. All data tablets recovered. Requesting further orders. Good job. Now return to Maria Bull Castle immediately. I'm not going to do that. I am instead... Well, I am going to go to Maria, but I'm going to save there. Oh, this is a beach. The mouth of the Lilicus River. Here lies the mouth of the Lilicus River. Keep it clean, no littering. Hmm. Yep, this is how we can get to... That is... Baskar. Okay. Well, Baskar's up there. We don't know what's down here yet. And this is, yep, the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, anyway, I'm just going to teleport. Oh, nope. I'm not going to do it that way. Now nah, we'll actually travel to Mariabool. Might as well make this even longer, right?
One Gala acquired. Well, that was worth it. Let's head back. Wait, why did I cancel that? Forgot, I actually can fight. This reminds me of the um, water theme in Final Fantasy VII, actually. Like when you're on the tiny Bronco and you're just navigating out. Have some claws. Ain't no laws when you're casting claws, after all, am I right? Sorry. Oh, right, I was going to dig out. I'm supposed to ordering out. Dig out. Medicine. You can only dig out once per combat. Successfully, that is. Latinin is acquired. Yay, I now have Latinin. So I guess that was my final objective. I just am going to land near Mariabool, save, and stop. That's Mount Chug Chug. Let me go a little bit further. Here's Mariable. Dig! Claw! I mean, I guess I could be stealing heal berries, but I have plenty now. Speaking of getting heal berries. Combination form. Ooh, you actually dealt damage to Tim! Holy crap! Quick, better heal! I forgot to equip different guardian. Oh, well. it's fine. Wait, why did I cancel that? Dang it. Forgot, I'm trying to level up stuff for Tim. Which means, yep, there's Maria Bull. Or the town of Maria, I should say. In the country of Maria Bull. I did it again. It's just habit. Alright. <clears throat> we are finally saving and exiting. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. This is actually the first save this entire video, isn't it? Yep. Alright. We are done. Bye!